Spirochete invasion. This is what it looks like under the microscope. When this gingival sample came up at a recent workshop, a returning attendee shared her story from an earlier class. For years, this practitioner had a persistent irritation in the molar area on one side of her mouth. She told her dentist on several occasions about it, and he would check the tooth area, do a cleaning, and state that everything looked okay. But every time, the problem never went away. When she came to our workshop and was shown how to get a gingival sample from that side of her mouth, lo and behold, she saw her own spirochete invasion. She was taught how to do a specific protocol, and in one day, yep, one day, those spirochetes vanished. And her tooth issue vanished as well, and in three years since that class, it has never returned. What we are looking at here is a great example of what people can have lurking in their mouths that can negatively impact health. Oral spirochetes have been implicated in diabetes, Alzheimer's, and cardiovascular disease, to name a few issues. If you're a healthcare practitioner and you don't have one of these tools at your disposal, you'll never know what you might be missing with your client's health. In the lower left section of the screen, you will note the spirochetes having a field day pushing and pulling on one of the red blood cells. In fact, seeing red blood cells themselves in a gingival sample is a sign of possible gum inflammation. The large round globules highlighted here have an appearance inside that is reminiscent of biofilm and L-form bacteria. The form of microscopy that we are using to get this incredible spirochete imaging is phase contrast. We are using a non-oil objective and to get this level of performance you really need the superior optics of the type you will find on our core Olympus systems. Knockoff brands just won't give you this level of clarity. The phase shading variation as well tends to be far superior in many respects over old school dark field microscopy where the delineation, particularly where biofilms are involved, is never this good. Visit us at biomedics.com for information on our workshops and see our educational tools like the microscope.